And now here's Chris in Manchester. Go ahead, Chris. Hello, George. Hi, mate. Um, very nice to hear from you. It's a very good show. Thanks. Uh, and um, all, I, all I wanted to say was, I've been become unemployed um, for about the last two weeks. And what I, was, what I wanted to say was that if people are actually claiming benefits, then why can't we actually do something for, you know, um, like the government and, like, going out and, like, doing a purpose for people, i.e., like, cleaning, like, you know, cleaning the streets or something like that, rather than just claiming the benefits and sitting down and doing nothing about it? Why and, uh, can't we go out and, like, do something for the people? Why are you so easily fooled into this kind of uh, garbage, Chris? Why, 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 why does the propaganda of the right... Well, you sound like a working man to me. Why I does am the a working man. Well, why, why have you allowed the propaganda of the people who own the system, which cares nothing for you, to turn well, your mind against the unemployed rather well, than against the system that made them unemployed and may well soon make you unemployed. What do you do? No, I'm a bricklayer by trade. Okay, so why are you so easily turned on the unemployed workers instead because of the, the people that make them unemployed? No, because the reason is, I mean, my father, who I served my apprenticeship with, who was like 70 years of age now, he said, like, that when he was younger, if people was unemployed, they had to go out and work. Well, yeah, work. Well, you know, I'll tell you, I'll go even further back than your father was able to do, Chris. Right, if you, if okay. you read Charles Dickens, you'll right. discover that the poor used to be put into the workhouse. When right. they were unemployed, they were put into the workhouse in exchange for the gruel that they got. And right. if you've read Oliver Twist, you'll know what happened when you right. asked for more gruel. Is that what you yeah. want us to go back to? Well... Basically, if, if you're, you can't get nothing for nothing. Well, why are they unemployed, Chris? They're unemployed because an economic system over which they have no control has made them unemployed. Now, yeah, the logic of what you're saying... Get money, though? Well, what do you want them to do? Starve to death on the street? No, but I mean, if, you're, if you want to expect to get, like, get money off the government, then you should give something back to that as well. Well, let's bring back the workhouse. Was that what you would like? Would you like the, the people who are unemployed to go yeah. into the workhouse and break stones in a yard in exchange for their grow? Well, basically, yeah, I would, yeah. You would? That's because yeah, you're an idiot, Chris. That's because you're a blithering idiot. What? So... You're a so, blithering idiot who's, who is so stupid that the right-wing propaganda against the unemployed can get you, a bricklayer, phoning up saying we should go back to the workhouse yeah, rather so, than turn your feeble intellect to trying to get your head around the fact that the economic system, which has already condemned two million to unemployment, will very likely, very soon, condemn you to unemployment too. And you and your family can check in to the same workhouse. My God, where do they get them from? Here's Mike in Great Yarmouth. Go ahead, Mike. Hello, uh, good evening, George. Well, good morning. Good morning. Um, I disagree that the, uh, the government would be the best way of uh, running the banks. Um, you said earlier on that the government should take over running the banks. Uh, would they do a better job than Sir Fred Goodwin? Well, not all bankers are absolute terrible people. But all the uh, bank, all the banks are broke, and we're bailing them all out. Well, not they're not all uh, broke. I mean, you've got pe people like, uh, we'll say, the Abbey Santander Bank. Some of the Chinese banks aren't doing so bad. Uh -huh. but, um, got any more? Got any more, Mike? Well, I just say that um, the government really have never ever seen to be able to run anything properly. Yet the banks would be end, end up overmanned and etc. etc. Mm -hmm. No, I'm just I'm just basically asking you if anyone could possibly do a worse job than the people running the banks in America and Britain have done. Um, uh, yeah, the government. The yeah, government the would be the government would be worse yeah, than definitely. than the people who've looted pension pots of thirty three million pounds, taken millions of pounds a year in salary, and then destroyed the banks they were in charge of. Yeah, but the re main one of the reasons is that it's because the way the the, the main bankers are paid, it's a greed system. I mean, not. I mean, I work for a living. I'm not greedy. Um, my governor, I think, is probably a bit more greedy than me. But I mean, he runs his business very well. 
But, I mean, um, you look at the hospitals and the National Health Service, that doesn't seem to be run very well. Um, the highway Should, maybe, guys, maybe we'll get Sir Fred to take over the NHS then, do you think? No, I'm, no, I'm not would he do, would he do as good a job with that as he's done with the Royal Bank of Scotland? Where are these people coming from? Is there a full moon outside? I mean, I, where does that kind of mentality come from? And it comes from people who gain nothing from this system. A bricklayer. Mike in Great Yarmouth, who works for a governor, who are the champions of private enterprise and the workhouse. Give me Tommy in Glasgow for some sense. Tommy, go on. George. Yes, 